Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2020. I know we are a bit behind. It's been extremely um, crazy, not only with workings and consultations, um, but with everything that's happening around the world, I want to take a couple of minutes just to hope and wish that all of you guys are being safe and are staying safe. And I want to give you guys a little food for thought. And I think that at this present time, we're dealing with a lot, a lot of changes, a lot of, you know, everyone's pretty much on edge. And I think that it's very important to... Um, Whatever your opinion is of what's going on, whatever uh, your circumstances is, it's very important for us to be compassionate. Um, I think that it's important for us to put out love into the universe. That's something that we're lacking right now. And if you guys did see uh, the January readings that were done uh, in the beginning of this year, um, a lot of... Uh, a lot of what was said is currently what's happening. Um, so if you guys haven't seen that, you guys can always go back and look at that. But the point here is, I think that for those of us that do this, we understood the scale um, of gravity for a lot of people. Um, they didn't. So I think that like I said, there is a lot of things that are going on and that are going to continuously keep happening uh, because there is a major need for transformation. Um, so anyways, put love into the universe. Be compassionate of one another. It's okay to agree to disagree. Um, everyone's very intense and passionate about their opinions. And I've noticed that some people can be even nasty when it comes to their opinions, like trying to force people to see their perception or their point of view. Um, and I think that it's important to understand you may not agree and it's OK not to agree, um, but be respectful of one another. And like I said, be compassionate. I think that's something we lack nowadays, um, you know. There is a lot of craziness that's going on around the world. And I think that the more, uh, you know, the changes start within ourselves first. Um, and I think that's very important to, you know, understand and to acknowledge. Anyways. Okay, my lovelies. Gemini reading. Let's get into your reading. Sorry for that long intro. I just think it's very important we have that conversation. You know, a lot of people putting their ideas, putting their, you know, opinions, and that's fine. Um, so long as we do it in a very respectful way. Uh, everything that's happening has hit home very close to home, actually. Um, and I think that it is important to come from a loving place. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2020. All right, you have the six of wands. So there is um, there is a situation uh, in regards to feeling like you've achieved something or like you have finally, you're starting to see the rewards um, based on your hard work or uh, whatever situation you're currently dealing with. There is victory here. The obstacle here is the two of pentacles. So there is still need for balance. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where you feel like things are progressing for the positive for you, uh, but there's still some imbalances and it's important to uh, have balance in our lives. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been working a lot, putting a lot of long hours. For others of you, there could have been lack of work and it kind of threw you guys off or it's currently affecting your finances. Um, nonetheless, in the past and passing, we have the world card. So there's a major transformation that's happening here with you, Gemini. You have the page of wands. So there is communication that's coming through in regards to some type of uh, ending and new beginning for you guys. You have the seven of swords. So perhaps what's on your mind is a lot of... Uh, 
kind of be hum- becoming like a hermit for some of you guys. Like you're not as social as you were at some point. It could be because of what's going on with the pandemic and everything. But I feel that this can also have a lot to do like really you're extremely focused on what you're trying to accomplish or what you've been trying to accomplish for quite a while. And what's on your mind is moving forward and moving in the positive way. So I definitely do see that for you guys. Now, you do have the eight of cups here, uh, walking away from a situation that is no longer working for you. Now, you have the ace of swords, truth coming out, honesty, uh, perhaps um, clarification in regards to a situation. For some of you guys, this could have to do with your finances. For others, it could have to do um, with a relationship or a partnership uh, where perhaps you've been putting a lot of effort trying to move forward in this connection or in this relationship. And there is still like you still feel things are not going back to the way they were or they're not moving as quickly as you would want. But you do have here the Ace of Swords. So what they're telling you here is important to be honest with yourself, Gemini. Be truthful. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords. So there is an energy, it could be uh, another air energy like yourself, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. For others of you, it could have to do with uh, messages or communication, the way you communicate with the others. And it, it comes off as very forceful. So it could be that you're dealing with, um, you could be dealing with a fire energy or like I said, an air energy. Um, for others of you, this could have to do directly con in connection uh, with family or your children, if you have children, um, they could be a bit confrontational, kind of experiencing that rebellious uh, face that everyone deals with. But what they're saying here is that you have to be honest and you have to be transparent. A lot of the times, and I find this very true to be with Gemini parents, a lot of the times you guys are extremely um, devoted and are extremely open-minded when it comes to your children and sometimes the line could be blurred when it comes to like you preferring them to see you as a friend versus seeing you as a parental figure so sometimes it's important to understand that we kind of have to uh, it's fine and amazing if you have a father or a mother figure that is a friend that you can always go to that you can confide in but sometimes that could come off as them taking you for granted or taking advantage of that. Uh, so it's important to, like I said, speak up, put your foot down when you have to. Uh, and this could also have to do with partnerships if you are currently dealing with a situation where, like I said, you've been trying to work out a situation and things are moving progressively well, but you're still feeling like, there is uncertainty, there is dishonesty or some type of doubt. And what they're telling you here is you got to be honest and truthful. Uh, speak to them about your, not so much your doubts, but your insecurities. I think it's very important to do, especially when you have the Knight of Swords next to the Ace of Swords. You got to be straightforward when it comes to communication. Now you do have the Six of Coins, which is receptive energy. It also speaks about being able to uh, come together when it comes to partnerships and actually uh, be straightforward and you may be surprised uh, your partner may be extremely understanding or they will be experience you will be experiencing uh, them being very receptive for this month now you also do have here the six of cups so with the six of cups and the uh, six so you have two sixes and what they're saying here is that there is transformation that's happening, which is reflected here with the world card. Keep your focus on what it is that you're trying to achieve, um, uh, Gemini. When you have the when you have the six of wands, um, actually you have three sixes. Now that I see that, um, when you have uh, the six of wands, it speaks about victory. Uh, so what they're saying is that your power for manifestation for this month of June is going to be extremely strong. You're literally going to feel like you're pulling things towards you. And what they're telling you is remove the clutter, meaning remove the negative self-talk. Um, try the best you can to focus on that, what you're trying to bring towards you so that you can not have any blockages and see that manifest in a very quickly 
uh, quickly way, quickly manner without any, you know, blockages. Sometimes, um, and this is very true, uh, that I've seen with clients, a lot of the times you could become your own worst enemy, meaning you are blocking your blessings, whether it be because you have a lot of things going on, whether it be because you feel like you're being pulled uh, 10 million directions. And what they're telling you is through this craziness or through uh, the difficulties that you're dealing with in the family dynamic or in relationships, it's important to maintain that focus. So don't let any friends uh, don't let, you know, your partnerships or your children um, remove you or keep you away from wanting to progress or wanting to move forward. Yes, it's important to maintain balance with the two of pentacles, but also it is important to be grounded and to know exactly what it is that we want in order for us to be able to bring that or attract that towards us. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.